Boom. All right, Bourbon Quest, it's your host, Bourbon Steve. So, yeah, it's a rainy day. What do we got tonight? So, last year I did a competition on bourbon eggnog between Evan Williams and Benchmark, and Evan Williams won out. So, tonight we have a new challenge. It's your last year's winner, Evan Williams eggnog against this year's contender Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog haha <laughs> and this Pennsylvania Dutch says made with real dairy cream rum brandy and blended whiskey and it's supposed to be like the original recipe I don't know what that means but anyways I thought why the hell not I've already mixed them up. I don't know which is which we're going to do them blind it's Evan Williams against Pennsylvania Dutch. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. A little eggnog for the holidays. Mm. I think these are very hard to tell which is which because it's freaking eggnog. What are you going to do? But anyway, so there's that one. Let's try the second one. Honestly, I can't tell hardly any difference with these. Stay hydrated, my friends. All right, we're going to go back in for one more sip, try to see if we can determine a winner between these two. I'm going to say... I'm leaning a little bit more towards the first one, but let's try again. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Yeah, I'm gonna give the slight edge to the first one. I think it's a little bit more um, bourbon influenced. I could be wrong, but I wanna say, I'm going with number one. I'm going to say that's the Evan Williams, just because I feel like there's a little bit more bourbon on that. And of course, I'm wrong. What are you going to do? So yeah, I was wrong. This The winner is actually the Pennsylvania Dutch. Although, that, that's weird. I think the, let's see, the Pennsylvania Dutch is 29.5 proof. And the Evan Williams is 30 proof, so not enough to make a difference. But it's the winner is Pennsylvania Dutch. I mean, okay. Let's try them again. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mmm. All right, let's try the Evan Williams. Like I said, they were so close, like very little difference on these. I mean, I ended up blind choosing the Pennsylvania Dutch over the Evan Williams eggnog. I think they're both really, really good. Unlike Last year, I thought there was a distinct difference between the, uh, the Evan Williams and the uh, Benchmark, but yeah, we're going with the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. A little eggnog for the holidays. And then a bonus that we're going to do, because it's not eggnog, but it's Granny's Gingerbread Cream, which is a... Uh, Sazerac Buffalo Trace product because it, it, it's the same bottle as uh, Buffalo Trace bourbon cream comes in and it is uniquely different I mean it's it's Granny's gingerbread for sure in a glass so what up Q I think Q's over there 
Hey, cute. So this is Granny's gingerbread cream. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All day long gingerbread in a glass. Like, I do like the eggnog, but I think this is better than the eggnog. This gingerbread just offers something a little more unique. Cheers. And I think it's, what's the proof on it? Probably 30. No, 25 proof. 25 proof gingerbread in a glass. Cheers, bourbon clutch. That's freaking delicious. Definitely go pick you up all three of these for that matter. But this, if I pick between all three of them, actually I would take the gingerbread, Granny's gingerbread cream is mm, delicious. All right, that's a little different video than normal, but it is that time of the year for eggnog and gingerbread. So I thought I'd go home and bring it to you on a video. Subscribe, like, comment, ring that bell for notifications, and remember, as always, my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. That's a wrap. <laughs> That's good stuff. Not my typical drink, but hey, in December, it's one to remember. <laughs> That's a wrap.